Uh, yes, this is uh, no text while driving, part four. And and so far, what we've done is uh, we've got this app that can respond to texts with the custom response the user enters. And in fact, we also have it so the uh, app speaks out the text that come in from from whoever. And and the last thing I want to add is. You know, let's say your your spouse is is waiting for you to get home. He or she's cooking dinner, and they want to know how far away you are. And so, what we're going to do is use the location sensor to to and add that information into the message that we send back to the um, sender. Okay. So, first thing we're going to do is come over to our component designer. And let's see if we added a location sensor component. That's the first thing we'll need. It's not there, but you can get one in the sensors area. Just drag in this location sensor. Uh, there it is. And, and now we can find out where the phone is at all times. So back in the blocks editor, um, you know, so location sensor, you know, there's one key key event. It's location changed. And I'm going to grab that guy and drag him in. And it's going to tell you the latitude, longitude, that sort of thing. But really, I think what we care about is, is an address. And we can get that information from the sensor as well. But, but the key is this event will be called the first time the phone reads in a GPS. And it may never. If you have GPS disabled it, you know, on your phone, it, it won't. Um, but if it's enabled after a few seconds, it'll, it should, should get a reading. And also, as you're moving, it'll it'll get a new reading. But what we're going to do is we're going to define a variable, and that variable is going to be called last known location. And you know it's going to be a text, and and for for the default, we'll just put unknown. So you know, maybe we'll never get a reading from the sensor, and the last known location will be unknown. But if we do get a reading, or if it changes, we're going to change this variable. And once you define a variable, uh, you can go to my definitions and get a set for it. You know, so if you want to modify what's in that variable, and uh, let's give ourselves a little more room here. I'm going to widen our um, app a little bit. So when the location sensor, when it gets changed. Um, we're going to do some stuff. And what we do want to do is set this last known location. But I don't really want latitude, longitude. I'm going to get the actual address from from the um, location sensor. And and what this does is it 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 gets the current address. And it what it does is it uses the, the reading it gets. And Google Maps, you know, calls that kind of behind the scenes and gets you an address like, you know, 72 um, Willard Street. You know, that, that sort of thing. So that's what we're going to put in last known location. Um, so let's move this guy back down. Our location change, that's that's all it really does is it sets this variable. So our variable is either unknown or some address that, that got read by the sensor. And then we're going to change the custom response. And instead of just sending back the response text, whatever's in that text box, whatever the user's entered, we're going to do make text and you know we're going to have a few things so we'll just do the regular response and then we'll also say a text that says you know last known location is and then finally we'll put in the variable last known location so it'll say you know, I'm driving right now last known location is and then the last part of the text will be you know that address so I'm going to grab from my definitions last known location stick it in there and all of a sudden you are now not only replying to the text you receive but you're going to reply with some location information and that's good um, or maybe it's not good, but you know, if you want to do that, this is this is the way you do it. You could also put an if statement in here to you know make sure only from certain phone numbers would you give out that information, something like that. But anyway, that's that's the last part of this app. Thank you very much.